This morning on today's Consumer, a new warning about cell phones and your children. Nearly half of 8 to 12-year-olds are now carrying cell phones, and authorities say that's made cell phones the perfect tool for child predators. Today's Consumer correspondent, Janice Lieberman, is here with a wake-up call for parents, and this is a call parents need to answer, Janice. Very disturbing. We tell our kids to be wary of chatting with strangers on the computer, but what about their cell phones? As you're about to see, it may only take a single text message for a predator lure your child. A warning, you might want to keep your young children from watching the story. Hello? Welcome to Cell Phone Nation, where kids dial, chat, and text. 24-7. 13-year-old Kira Schreiber says her social life revolves around her cell phone. Earlier this year, she was texting in a chat room when she met someone new. Maximino Sanchez Castro, who told her he was 17. He sent me an instant message saying, oh, hey, you're cute, want to chat? Soon they were texting every day. Maximino showered her with compliments. He said, oh, you're so beautiful. And quickly earned her trust. One night he convinced Kira to sneak out of her house and meet him in his car. That's when she says everything changed. He went down a dark street. It was really pitch black. And then he locked all the car doors. Then that's when he raped me. When Kira finally told her mom, she called the police, and Sanchez Castro was arrested. They later learned he was actually 21 years old and an illegal immigrant. He's now serving three years in state prison. It was scary. I didn't know that he could get to my child through her cell phone. But authorities say that's exactly how more and more predators are targeting kids. Children take their cell phones everywhere with them, including to bed sometimes. It's a prime opportunity for sex offenders to have some instant contact with a child. DA58, we're en route. For 12 years, Mike Harris has tracked internet predators. Put them up! As an investigator for the Jefferson County DA in Colorado. Now here's my point. Now he speaks out in schools about the dangers of cell phone predators. How many of you have received unsolicited text messages from people you don't know? Harris says many predators snare their victims by sending out friendly texts to hundreds of random numbers, hoping a child will respond. We had a 12-year-old girl. She got a text message and it said, I see you. Obviously, this 12-year-old was concerned. She said, how do you see me? And so thus she began a communication with the stranger. But now a new cell phone technology allows parents to screen their kids' interactions. It's called Radar, my mobile watchdog. Bob Lauder is the company CEO. What Radar does is it monitors everything that goes in and out of the phone. That would be text messages, pictures, phone calls. Radar lets parents program an approved list of phone numbers into their child's phone. So if your child gets a text message, a photo, an email for someone not approved, what happens? It automatically goes directly to the parent's phone. You'll get a message, you'll look at it, and you're going to be reading or seeing exactly what your child just read or saw moments before. Here in Colorado, Mike Harris is using radar to catch predators. Posing as a young girl, he's gotten hundreds of texts and photos from adult men. Most so explicit, we have to blur them out. They get so graphic, it's, I mean, it's hard for people to imagine. Harris says in the last six months, Radar has helped him nab 39 child predators. Wendy Schreiber hopes having it will protect her daughter from any more danger. It gives me peace of mind because I know exactly at the minute her text goes out what she's texting. Even though sometimes I don't like it, still, better to be safe than hurt. Kira's offender, Maximino Sanchez Castro, ended up pleading guilty to attempted sexual assault on a child. Authorities say once his prison term is up, he will be deported. For more information on Radar, my mobile watchdog software, you can go to the company's website. That, that software is not spyware. In other words, the kids know it's on their cell phone, right? They agree to it. It pops up Radar. It's clearly marked. There's discussion between the parent and the child. Please come to me. Tell me what's going on. It's very important. It, it's incredible. This is a very risky way for a predator to reach out for a child because even without that software, when you text message someone, your number's there.
if the child tells you and if the child saves it eventually they go away if you delete it yeah so anyway you just got to tell your kids you have to say to your kids if you get a text message from someone and you don't know that person you got to be careful about it and come tell us please come tell us but if you have a program a software like this you're really on top of it all right janice thanks very much we appreciate